Hello. Uh, before Pokemon Home comes out, I'd like to address uh, something about transfer moves. So I've always been a big fan of transfer moves, uh, but you can't just transfer anything anymore because apparently they brought back a lot of transfer moves in this game. Uh, mostly through TMs and TRs, but through other things as well. But there are also new transfer moves, so I'll also be discussing that. We have like... Uh, Try Attack was like a Generation 1 move. All the ones in like Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, I think they're back, except for maybe like Payday. Um, no, Payday's still a move. <laughs> okay. So yeah, Payday, Self Destruct. Whirlpool is back, and that wasn't like around since like Heart Gold and Soul Silver. We also got Endure back. That's just a universal TM, and it wasn't around since like Generation 4, but they brought it back. I don't think Seismic Toss is back. I'm pretty sure that was in Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. But it's not back here, so... That's unfortunate. Work Up, Work Up was back in Generation 7. It was only gone for like one generation. They also brought back the moves, um... A lot of moves from the Shadow Pokemon just added to their move sets. So a lot of these Pokemon, you had to like transfer from Generation 3. Um... And a lot of the ones that got like Baton Pass, like the Soul Rock and Lunatone, they get Baton Pass now. The um, Ghost Types, Sableye, and uh, Duskull line, they have like Helping Hand. So that's great. So Self Destruct Wailord was back. You had to like move to Dravan XD, and now they brought it back. Oh yeah, Metronome. Metronome's a big one, even though it's a stupid one. Because <laughs> it's like so random, but yeah, I guess it kind of devalues Metronome Pokemon. Body Slam is back. That's um, was that's kind of interesting. You have to transfer it from your Gen One or Generation Three. Uh, number one, uh, this is a different. This one doesn't exist anymore in this game, and that's Nightmare. So if you had a Nightmare Pokemon like a Nightmare Butterfree or Lapras, I wouldn't suggest transferring that over. So Quillfish can now learn Swords Dance again. You had to transfer to Quillfish uh, from Generation Three. Uh, let's see. Do I have a quillfish? There we go. See? Can learn. Anyway, on to the newly exclusive transfer moves. So, apparently, um, so, obviously, some moves, like, Toxic and Roost, uh, are no longer, like, just moves any Pokemon can get. They're not in the TR list, so you have to actually... Those would be great transfer moves, obviously. And then Self-Destruct pretty much replaced Explosion, but Explosion is still in the game. So, if you transfer a Pokemon with Explosion that you normally give Self-Destruct to, that's just a clear advantage. So, I would do that in terms of transfer moves. And then finally, a... There are a few more. Uh, apparently, Slurpuff can't learn Belly Drum anymore. So, you have to uh, bring that over from an older game. Belly Drum Slurpuff. Oh yeah, uh, Sing has not been touched. So, if you need a Pokemon with Sing... From Generation 3 that you purified. Uh, go for it. N Natural Gift, it's called. From Generation 4. That's not even in the games anymore. I think that one was removed. Okay, so I went back to... Um... Oh yeah, Avalanche. Okay, so I went back to Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. I'm just looking at all my transfer Pokemon. So, I think Power Up Punch actually still might be a good transfer move. But Avalanche uh, definitely isn't. Also, I forgot to mention they brought back like Mega Punch, Mega Kick, I think Retaliate. A lot of things just to kind of compensate because they took out uh, Frustration and Return. So a lot of normal type moves. Um, so here's my like full Duskull team. So Endure is kind of ruined. Seismic Toss is still good, but like Sucker Punch is definitely still good. And power up punch. So overall though, the little one, the endure one and a flash is kind of counterintuitive. Is pain split still in the game? I'm not sure about pain split. It probably is. I don't wanna dwell on it. Curse! Curse is a good one. I have so many curse Pokemon. So if you have like any Pokemon that has curse from generation two, that is a great transfer move. Pluck's no good. <laughs> or pluck? I don't know. Pluck isn't. I'm not sure if it's a TM again, or TR. But um, I know that uh, Skarmory isn't in there, so that I can't transfer this anyway. See, here's a Quillfish. I can transfer. 
I'd love to transfer to this thing. Garchomp. Home Claws is in, so this guy works, but then Garchomp's not in. So he, this won't work, but then if you have a good Hone Claws Pokemon, I think that's still a transfer move. Because I checked, like, uh, Durant's move said didn't mention Hone Claws, so I'm guessing... I'm guessing it lost a move because it's not a TM or TR anymore. I'm not sure Soft... I think Soft Boil is still in the game. There's just no Pokemon that can learn it right now. But I think you can still transfer st Soft Boiled Clefable. There's no chance he... I'm not sure about... How, the Pokemon that can learn Reflect. Because I know there are differences in who can learn Reflect and who can't in Generation 1. So, like, a Reflect Chansey wouldn't happen normally, but, like, a Reflect, or a Reflect Dragonite. But then, now, but if you transfer it from Generation 1, they can learn Reflect in Generation 1. It's... <sighs> yeah, overall, Curse is good. The ones I mentioned are good. Everything else I wouldn't deal with. Anyway, that's it all. Thank you for watching. Bye.